welcome to the next section on uh, two port network parameters in the previous uh, session we have uh, learnt about uh, what is two port network and what is the impedance parameter or uh, open circuit parameter so in today's uh, lecture we'll refresh what what we have studied in the previous as well as we'll go through the other parameters okay so just uh, recall what is two port or what is port itself okay so port is the pair of terminal through which we will send or receive the signals okay so in this uh, session we will consider only the two ports where we have a four terminals for receiving and as well as for the sending the signals okay so out of four uh, like terminals okay so we will consider uh, four terminals with the four variables that is um, like v1 i1 v2 i2 okay so out of these four variables we will take two variables at a time and we'll try to model the network and we'll uh, visualize wh what is its behavior using the those two chosen variables okay so here we can consider v1 and i1 as an independent or v2 and i2 are dependent or vice versa or any uh, two variables we can consider so that means out of four two variables will become a uh, dependent variable and two variables will become a independent variables so through this we can analyze okay the two port network with the six parameters okay one is uh, impedance parameter or z parameter or you can also call that as a open circuit parameter admittance parameter or uh, y parameter or short circuit parameter transmission parameter or just a t parameter or a b c d it is also called as a b c d parameter and we have hybrid or h parameter and other two parameters which we not use uh, like use uh, very often that is inverse transmission parameter and inverse hybrid parameters okay so in the last session we have studied what is impedance parameter and why it is called uh, open circuit parameter we'll just refresh that okay so impedance uh, or z parameter or open circuit parameter it will have the network equation as v1 and v2 so now we'll just consider a network that is two port okay so we are going to model this network using the impedance parameters so the modeling equations are v1 and v2 here v1 and v2 are the dependent variables and i1 and i2 are the independent variables okay the currents are in the network are independent variable and the voltage across the terminals are the dependent variable so we can write the equation v1 as z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and as well as v2 as z z21 i1 and z22 i2 okay it is 22 i2 okay so this equation we can write it in the matrix form as v1 i v1 v2 that is v matrix which is equal to z11 z12 z21 z22 and uh, this is z matrix and i1 and i2 as i matrix so we can just refer it as v matrix equal to z matrix into i matrix okay so we'll see what are this each parameters are and what is it is called as okay z11 okay by keeping we have equation for again for the reference uh, z11 equal to v1 equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and v2 equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 this was the equation okay by open circuiting the output port we have i2 equal to 0 we can make i2 equal to 0 that means when we open circuit any terminal so no current flows through that terminal so that that means y2 will be equal to 0 so in this two equation when i2 becomes equal to 0 we can uh, we can determine two parameters that is z11 and z21 here okay so z11 which is equal to from the equation making i2 equal to 0 we have v1 by i1 which is uh, with uh, i2 equal to 0 okay and this parameter we call it as a open circuit open circuit driven point 
और ड्राइविंग ड्राइविंग पॉइंट इनपुट इम्पिडेंस ओके ओपन सर्क्यूट ड्राइविंग पॉइंट इनपुट इम्पिडेंस सिमिलरली बाय मेकिंग आई टू इक्वल टू जीरो इन दिस इक्वेशन बाय मेकिंग द आई टू इक्वल टू जीरो वी कैन फाइंड ओपन सर्क्यूट ड्राइविंग पॉइंट इनपुट इम्पिडेंस विच इज नथिंग बट जेड वन वन विच इज इक्वल टू वी वन बाय आई वन सिमिलरली वी कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड Z21 another parameter from the equation by making i2 equal to zero that is v2 by i1 okay so v2 by i1 which is uh, z21 uh, which is called as a open circuit open circuit forward transfer impedance okay similarly uh, by making i1 equal to 0 in these two equations we can determine another two parameters those are z22 and z11 z12 uh, okay so z12 is v1 by i2 by i am making i1 equal to 0 as well as z22 equal to v2 by i2 by making i1 equal to 0 okay z22 is called as a open circuit driving point open circuit driving point output impedance okay similarly z12 which is equal to v1 by i2 by keeping uh, i1 equal uh, equal to 0 we call this as open circuit reverse transfer impedance reverse transfer impedance okay so we know what is the definition of all these four parameters now let us consider one circuit simple circuit and we'll just evaluate the uh, parameters from that circuit okay so before that this like how i uh, told that um, the network can be modeled with the z parameters and with that z parameters we can also write the equivalent network okay for two port okay in terms of z parameter in terms of z parameters okay so he, he, here you can see that there are two uh, dependent sources okay so the parameter z12 is dependent on i2 here and z21 is dependent on i1 okay so we can uh, write the equivalent network for the same now let us consider uh, a simple network let me take this as 5 ohms here okay so we are need to find the z parameter for this network it will have a t network okay that is uh, we will have uh, r1 equal to 10 ohms and r2 equal to 5 ohms and r3 equal to 15 ohms okay so we have to evaluate what is uh, z11 z21 and z12 and z22 okay so now for this network so in order to do that so we have to consider one of the port as a uh, open circuit so let us consider the first sorry uh, second port the two, second port in this network that is port 2 2 dash this is 2 and this is 2 dash port 2 2 dash as an open circuit so once we make this as an open circuit okay so when this this port becomes open circuit then i2 will be equal to 0 okay so no current flows through the open circuit in that case this 15 ohms will become equal to zero so what is the resultant network so resultant network will have okay so you have 10 ohms 5 ohms and you have v2 open circuit voltage and you have v1 here and i1 is flowing through this okay so now we will apply the kvl for the resultant network so once you apply the kvl for the resultant network you can see okay i1 minus i1 into 10 minus this current only flows here so it is minus uh, i1 5 ohms which is equal to v1 okay so this equation is written as minus 10 i1 minus 5 i1 plus v1 equal to 0 that means minus 15 i1 plus v1 equal to 0 or we can say v1 by i1 which is equal to nothing but open circuit driving point uh, input impedance z11 which we can obtain as a 15 ohms okay next other parameter we will evaluate so in order to evaluate the other parameter we can see from the previous 
thing. So, what is the voltage across the V2? So, voltage across V2 is nothing but whatever the voltage across the 5 ohms resistor. Okay. So, with this knowledge, V2 equal to voltage across the 5 ohms resistor which is equal to 5 into I1. Okay. So, 5 into I1 by putting the V2 by I1. Okay. So, V2 by I1 we will have Z21 equal to 5 ohms. Okay, so, we can obtain the Z21 as 5 ohms. Okay, this is first part where we evaluated 2 parameters out of 4 parameters. So, next in the second part, we will make the input port as an open circuit okay, and then we will continue doing uh, evaluating the other 2 parameters. So, in order to do that, we will make open circuit that means uh, input port will be having a, a 0 current that is I1 will become equal to 0. So, once we do that, I1 becomes equal to 0 again. So, here I1 becomes equal to 0. So, this resistors once again is a redundant. So, this will goes to 0. Okay. So, the what is the left out? So, we have 15 ohms and then V1. Okay. So, again the voltage across the open circuit terminal okay, that is V1 which is nothing but the so, voltage across the 5 ohms okay. and again by applying the KVL we have minus 15 I2 minus 5 I2 plus V2 equal to 0. So, from this I can evaluate what is V2 by I2 which is equal to Z22 which is equal to 20 ohms. Okay. Similarly, I can obtain what is uh, Z12 uh, okay. so that is through the voltage across the 5 ohms resistor that is V1 by I2 which is equal to just 5 ohms which is nothing but Z12. Okay. So, we have evaluated all the parameters required for the analyzing the network using Z. Okay. So, next we will move on to the next parameter that is admittance parameter or Y parameter or also it is also called as a short circuit parameter short circuit parameter. Okay. The equation for the short circuit parameter considering I1 and I2 are the uh, dependent parameters and V1 and V2 are the independent parameters. Okay. So, I1 is equal to Y11 V1 plus Y12 V2. Similarly, I2 equal to Y21 V1 plus Y22 V2. Okay. So, from this two equation we can write it in the matrix form as I matrix which is equal to Y matrix into V matrix. Okay. Again, we will uh, find it out what is the Y11 okay, expression and all the parameters of Y matrix and what are those called. Okay. So, this is the equivalent network for the two port network using the Y parameters. Okay. Now, coming to the parameters, Y parameters, the first parameters, first let me write the equations I1 equal to y, y11 i1 equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 i2 equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 okay by substituting v2 equal to 0 Okay, so, that means by short circuiting the port 2, short circuiting the port 2, we can obtain what is Y11, Y11 is nothing but I1 by I1 by V1, okay, Y11 is nothing but I1 by V1, okay, and this parameter is called as a short circuit driving point uh, input admittance, okay, short circuit driving point input admittance admittance. Okay. Similarly, from the equations by letting the V2 equal to 0 that means uh, considering the port 2 as a short circuit we have Y21 okay, parameter which is nothing but I2 by V1 and this parameter is called as a short circuit um, reverse sorry a short circuit uh, forward transfer admittance. Okay. Short circuit forward transfer admittance. Okay. Similarly, we have another parameter that is y21 which is equal to 
i1 by v2 by letting v1 equal to 0 okay so what is that v1 equal to 0 means uh, we are short circuiting the input port and we are evaluating the other two parameters here okay so the short circuit in the input port means we will get two parameters that is y21 and y22 okay so y21 is nothing but i1 by v2 which is equal by letting the v1 equal to 0 and this is called as a uh, so let uh, sorry for this this is not there so this is called as a uh, short circuit short circuit uh, reverse uh, transfer admittance okay short circuit reverse transfer admittance similarly we have y22 which is equal to i2 by v2 by letting v1 equal to 0 we have uh, this parameter is called as a short circuit driving point output admittance okay so short circuit driving point output admittance okay so with the parameters again we will take one example and we will uh, find the uh, find the parameters from the network okay yes this is the example okay it will have one uh, dependent source okay and a pi network okay so in order to find the uh, parameters so uh, one port one of the port out of two ports we have to short circuit and evaluate the parameters and again you have to uh, short circuit the other port again evaluate the other two parameters of the matrix okay so first let us consider v2 uh, will be short circuited that is port 2 is short circuited okay so when port 2 is short circuited okay and uh, applying the kcl in this case i am applying the kcl you can also apply the uh, kvl also so here by short circuiting the uh, v2 and apply the kcl at node 1 and 2 this is the node 1 this is the node 1 okay node 1 and 2 okay node 1 currents that is i1 equal to i3 and i4 okay so incoming current is i1 which is divided in this branch as well as in this branch okay so this branch current is i3 and this branch current is i4 okay so uh, i1 equal to sum of the uh, currents i3 plus i4 at the node so we know what is i3 i3 is nothing but v1 divided by 1 ohms similarly uh, i4 is nothing but v1 minus v2 divided by 2 ohms okay so from this we will evaluate what is the i1 so i1 is equal to uh, 3 by 2 v1 minus uh, 1 by 2 v2 okay so i1 equal to 1.5 v1 minus 0.5 v2 okay 3 by 2 is 1.5 1 by 2 is 0.5 so 0.5 v2 okay let me call this equation as number 1 again apply the kcl at node 2 okay in first case we'll uh, taken the um, the kcl at node 1 now in this case i will take the kcl at node 2 okay again i will evaluate the currents okay so let me show you the current again okay so at the node 2 we have i5 and i2 is coming and i5 so i5 is nothing but i4 plus i2 see i2 plus i4 which is equal to i5 plus 3 into i1 because one more dependent source is there here you can see so one more dependent source okay so adding that source okay so we have the total current will be equal to at the node i2 plus i1 that the, those are the incoming currents i5 and, and uh, i1 3 i1 are the outgoing currents again by again uh, substituting the values for i2 i4 i5 so i2 uh, i will be uh, yeah we have taken i2 as it is i2 plus uh, what is i4 i4 is nothing but v1 minus v2 by 2 as well as i5 i5 is nothing but v2 by 2 plus 3 i1 itself okay since it is a dependent source we have to take we have to consider as it is so from this by simplifying this equation we get y2 equal to v2 minus 0.5 v1 
plus 3 into 1.5 e1 minus 0.5 e2. By substituting what is i1 from the previous equation that is equation number 1, we will get this equation. Again simplifying this equation, we get i2 equal to 4 v1 minus 0.5 v2. Okay, by comparing this equations and the um, uh, equation for the y parameters, we can obtain the i uh, i matrix and uh, v matrix and the uh, uh, sorry uh, v matrix and the uh, y matrix. Okay, so from the uh, parameters and the variables here, so we can just find it out what is the y matrix. So y matrix is nothing but you have 1.5, which is in which is nothing but Okay, this is nothing but y11, this is nothing but y12 and this is y21, y22. Okay, by just comparing the equations obtained okay, and with the y, uh, y parameter equations, we can obtain the um, parameters for y that is 1.5, minus 0.5, 4 and minus 0.5. Okay, so this is how we will evaluate the y parameter okay, from the network. So, next we will uh, consider one more parameter that is hybrid parameter. Okay, in other words, it will be called as a H parameter. So, hybrid or H parameter we can write for the two port network by considering the two variables that is V1 and I2 as a dependent and I1 and V2 as a independent variable. Okay, the equations are V1 equal to H11 I1 plus H12 V2 and i2 equal to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 okay from this again we can write the matrix uh, for the hybrid parameter as h11 h12 h21 h22 okay so with the vi vi call, uh, vi uh, matrix and this uh, dependent variable matrix as v v1 and i2 independent matrix as i1 and v2 again the equivalent circuit for the H uh, for the two port network in terms of H parameters. Here you can see you have one voltage dependent source and one current dependent source. Okay. Let us consider now all the parameters and what are these parameters as. So, again from the equations, so from the equations by letting V2 equal to 0, what is that means? By making the port 2 short circuit. Okay, we can evaluate H11 and H21. Similarly, by making the uh, port 1 open circuit, we can evaluate H12 uh, and H22. Okay, so the same thing we are done here. Yes, by letting uh, port 2 uh, short circuited, we have H11 equal to V1 by I1, and this parameter is called as a short circuit input impedance. Uh, similarly, H21 which is equal to I2 by I1 by letting V2 equal to 0, this parameter is called as a short circuit forward current gain. Okay, short circuit forward current gain. Similarly, H12 equal to V1 by V2 by letting uh, I1 equal to 0, we have open circuit reverse voltage gain. Similarly, and uh, H22 equal to I2 by V2 by letting I1 equal to 0, we have open circuit output admittance. Okay, we have input impedance, forward current gain and reverse voltage gain and output admittance we can see in the H parameter. The next parameter that is transmission or T or ABCD parameter, sometimes this is also called as a chain parameter. Okay, sometimes these parameters are also referred as a chain parameter. Here, this was first um, analyzed for the power transmission lines. Power transmission lines. Okay, so one difference you have to observe here the output current from the transmission line or the two port network okay so it is going out of the network okay whereas in other parameters this uh, i2 uh, current which was entering the uh, po, uh, entering the two port network whereas in this transmission parameter the current is going out of the network that's the reason the i2 current will be negative in sign Okay, so with this negative uh, I2, we can write the 
uh, equation for the transmission parameter that is v1 equal to a v2 plus b minus i2 i1 equal to c v2 plus d minus i2 ok. So, again we can uh, write the v i uh, matrix and uh, t matrix or a b c d matrix and v2 and minus i2 matrix ok. So, a parameter which is nothing but v1 by v2 by letting the output current equal to 0 that is open circuiting the output port ok. We have this a a variable uh, sorry a parameter is called as open circuit reverse voltage gain. Similarly, uh, by letting the output uh, port short circuited we can obtain the b which is nothing but v1 by minus i2 this is called as a short circuit transfer impedance and c parameter uh, from the t matrix that is i1 by v2 by letting i2 equal to 0 we have open circuit reverse transfer admittance. Similarly, the final uh, parameter d which is equal to i1 by minus i2 by letting v2 equal to 0 d equal to i1 by minus i2 by letting d v2 equal to 0 that means short circuiting the output port and this parameter is called as a short circuit reverse current gain ok. So, now we can uh, check that all the parameters it is summarized in this table z parameter which is having a expression for v1 and v2 we can express in terms of uh, uh, i1 and i2 v1 uh, expression in terms of i1 and i2 similarly y parameters in y parameters i1 and i2 can be expressed in terms of v1 and v2 and h parameters we can express v1 and i2 in terms of i1 and v2 and t parameters we can express v1 and i1 in terms of v2 and minus i2 ok. So, for today's class we have learnt all the parameters and the expressions for all the uh, yeah, like parameters expression and uh, we have defined what are those parameters as well ok. In the next video we can see uh, the inter interrelation between the parameters and we can uh, take up one example how to convert one uh, one parameter into another parameter using one simple network ok. Mm -hmm.